Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be doing a little revision. I dropped a video recently on the texture replacer mod and although the conclusion to that video would still lead you to be able to properly install a texture replacer and get it to work, the method in which I explained to get there is not correct. So I talked to the uh, developer who made the mod and uh, they pointed out the fact that there was a discrepancy in the video and I wanted to make sure that I cleared it up so that way everybody's on the same page and nobody gets confused as to how this actually works. So the best way to explain this for you is to explain it in a way as if you have never downloaded any textures or texture replacer at all. This is from scratch from the very beginning. You don't have any textures, you don't have texture replacer or you know any of that stuff. This is your first time you're you're looking into changing some textures in the game and what you're going to see is you're going to go into your Bepinex folder here. You're going to go to config because this not config. You're going to go to plugins because this is where your plugins are going to go. And you've downloaded texture replacer. It's here. This is the newest texture replacer, the latest one. You're going to open it up and you're going to see texture replacer folder and you're going to see a texture replacer DLL. What you're going to do is open this folder, grab your texture replacer folder, and you're going to transfer it directly into the plugins folder for a uh, Bapinet. So now you have texture replacer and the DLL is inside of the folder. Now normally what you would do is you would open up the folder, take the texture replacer DLL and you would place it in here with all the other DLLs. But I don't recommend you do that and I'll explain why in a moment. So as you can see I already have texture replacer in here but just for the sake of the video, let's get rid of it. So that way we're all, like I said, we're all on the same page. It won't be there for you. So it's not gonna be there now. So you've done that. Texture Replacer, by all intents and purposes, is installed, okay? So Texture Replacer, you have the DLL in here. You are good to go, okay? So now your next order of business is to download a texture pack, uh, you know, some type of mod that has whatever textures it is you want the uss uh us one is the only one that i know of right now or one of the few ones that i know of right now that has been updated so this one will work and as you can see when you open this up you have all your essential folders here ignore the reserved for future expansion folder you don't really need that one so take your object textures icons and names and we're going to drag that into the texture replacer folder and once that transfers over you're going to go ahead and open up texture replacer and as you can see textures icons names and then you have the texture replacer dll so when i explained this in the video before the only thing that really mattered is the fact that these folders are in the same location as the dll and that can either be here inside of the texture replacer folder or they can all be present here inside of the plugins folder now the reason that i don't recommend you put them into the plugins folder is because there are a lot of texture packs uh that will be coming out in the future or that it already existed previously that need the texture replacer folder in order to work so you might as well have it there are going to be books and uh, a couple other things that um i think uh the windows 7 and stuff like that i think those actually need a texture re replacer folder present um so it's better that you have a texture replacer folder here that you can click on with these uh, folders in here and the DLL present. So definitely do it that way. You can still do it the other way, right? You can still put them all in here like I showed in the last video. I just now that I have the information that I have, it doesn't it, it actually makes more sense to make sure you have the texture replacer folder. And the only important thing, as I stated before, is that these subfolders need to be in the same place that this texture replacer folder is in. So yeah, I was incorrect. I was wrong about my initial assessment. Um, like I said, for some reason, I was confused as to how I installed it. And I thought that for whatever reason, um, here, and I'll show you, I'll show you what I thought, just so that way we're on the same page. What I thought was inside of this folder where your plugins are, you have the texture replacer folder. I thought the DLL was in the plugins folder with the rest of the DLLs. And I thought when you clicked on this, there was no DLL in here because all these folders were in here and they were fine where they were. And I initially, like my brain was telling me for whatever reason 
that the textures were working under these conditions before. But as you'll see, if I boot the game right now under these conditions that I initially thought were, was the case before, you will plainly see that the mods are in fact not working. So whatever possessed me to believe that that was the case, I have no idea what the hell it was, uh, but yeah. I dropped the ball on that one and uh, because I want a channel built on honesty and integrity and I want to actually make sure I'm helping you guys, I'm going to correct my mistakes when I make them and I'm going to completely own up to them. Um, you know, and I know some people are just like, oh, be more careful. You should never make mistakes. Well, I'm human and it's going to happen and it's probably going to happen again at some point. I'm going to overlook something or I'm going to mess it up. But one thing you can guarantee is I'm going to go back and make sure that I fix, correct it and take responsibility for it. So my bad. That was my uh, my mistake. Um, and it's fixed now. So that there you go. Just make sure that all those folders, subfolders, and the DLL are in the same place, and you will be good to go. Sorry for the trouble. Hopefully that helped, and I'll see you guys on the next one.